guys, it's Yazzie Carter back with another video. So in today's video, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be telling and also kind of showing you guys how to start a lip gloss business for under $100. So this is all 100% from experience. I did a bunch of research for this video and I'm really going to be trying to help you guys. So I know you guys are like get into it. So before we get started, please make sure you are subscribed. Because I do post entrepreneur content, not every time I post, but pretty frequently, and I will be starting more often. So if you like that content, please make sure you are subscribed. <laughs> that was ugly. <laughs> but um, yeah, let's just get straight into the video. So first, I'm going to be starting off with some tips that I wrote down. So I'm going to be reading you guys the tips. The first thing is to have people buy stuff for you for like your birthday or Christmas. Like if you celebrate those holidays, of course. But um, I know everybody don't celebrate holidays. Personally, in my family, we do. So yeah, that's just how I got started. I asked for things for my birthday. I asked for things to keep me going through Christmas. Same thing is gonna happen this year. Same thing next year. <laughs> it's gonna be the same every year. Like. The presents, they're appreciated, but stuff for my business makes me happy because I'm fine with not getting presents like physically for myself. It's still for me because it makes me happy making lip gloss and stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah. That is the first tip is to like have people help you. It's a lot easier that way. And, yeah. So, on to the next the next thing is when you actually start I would say start by selling locally or just through social media a lot of people say it's not the best way to start but that is how they most likely started and now they have a website so now they're gonna tell you that's not the best way to start really if you can afford a website go ahead and do that if you can handle a website go ahead and do that but if you're not ready for that commitment yet and you want to just test it out which is what I recommend you to do is just start selling locally and through social media like DM to order people say it's um, annoying whatever it works you got to do what you got to do to get where you want to be just make sure if they're DMing to order you're telling them all the information they need to know don't be just like oh it's this amount of money and then that's all you tell them you need to tell them all the information they need to know the money it's going to be this much you're paying for this much in shipping you're just give them the details so you're not scamming them like make them feel comfortable ordering from you starting off as a small business it's kind of hard to grow because people aren't comfortable with ordering from you and it's risky because there's a lot of scams so just make sure you're telling them information that they need to know next is make samples to have your friends and family try before you start selling them if you like it it's one thing but you're not selling to yourself you're selling to people with other preferences so ask your friends and families what they prefer, what they don't like about certain lip glosses. Like learn from it. That is part of research. Research is a big part of starting a company. So you got to do it. Um, and then once you make it, have them try it. They, it might be too liquidy. I mean too oily. It might be not shiny enough. It might be too sticky. You just have to see. Don't get mad at them for telling you the truth. You can't please everyone, I know, but you at least got to make it to where everyone likes, not like, not everyone likes it, but at least you can cater to a lot of people because especially if you see um, a mistake that a lot of people bring up, you need to fix it because that means there's something wrong. I know you can't please everybody and that's fine, that's, that's just life, but you gotta at least cater to a big crowd of people or you're not gonna grow, go nowhere with it. So next is do your research on Google and YouTube. Don't just ask everybody for 
oh you did this how did you get this how did you where did you get this where do you go to find this google it <laughs> that's all you have to do google and youtube literally all you have to do um but yeah and never promote or use anyone else's pictures but your own promoting or using somebody else's pictures um can get you into legal trouble so you definitely don't want to do that and plus you're promoting the wrong thing like people's gonna be like this is not what i ordered <laughs> so if you're not promoting what is actually yours people's gonna order it thinking that's what they're getting they end up not getting that and then they're just not gonna buy from you again you want a loyal customer that is your goal is to get loyal customers keys for the future listen <laughs> next is you just have to be patient it takes a lot of patience it takes a lot of time it takes a lot of trial and error but you will get to where you want to be if you just um, be patient and keep working so now let's get into all the juicy stuff that you guys came for, where to get everything and stuff. So, yeah, we're gonna try to do this quick because my camera's about to die. <laughs> um, I know ratchet, but whatever. So the first thing you can get is from TKB Trading, Bursa Gel. This is 15 ounce. I recommend getting 15 ounce because this gives you room to test lip gloss from your family and friends and after you're done with that process you can sell some too it gives you a lot of room um they have smaller ones than this but i do recommend getting this one it is a 15 ounce like i said it is 16 dollars and 50 cents so yeah next is a morex 10 milliliter squeeze tubes. I have them all in here. And they also come with two 20 milliliter syringes, which is good enough to start off with. Personally, for me, a lot of people use pipettes, but I just got straws from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> Sounds ratchet, but it works. Um, next is UCGOU 4x8 bubble mellers, 50 count. Um on Amazon you can get these for 50 for $7.99 they're the perfect size they work just great so yeah <laughs> also where you get the squeeze tubes on or Amazon they are $6.99 for 50 of them so great deal I'm spilling all the tea <laughs> on where I get everything from so yeah, a lot of people won't tell you that, so you guys really have to appreciate that information. Personally, for me, I think there's room for everybody to be successful. When it's your time, it'll be your time. And helping other people is not going to stop you from getting to where you want to be. So, you know, I just have to help other people. Now, I'm not going to give out every little tiny detail. Some of this is just basic information. I'm not even going to lie. Because some things you do have to keep to yourself. But I'm giving you guys the basics, which is good enough to start. Um, Sadly, I don't have this to show you because I just ran out and I have to order some more. But because <laughs> I was just making lip gloss yesterday. You can get it off Amazon. It is Now Solutions Liquid Coconut Oil for 4 ounce. It is $7. Kind of expensive compared to the other oils I'd be ordering. But... It's great. It makes your lips very shiny. It's my lip gloss that I'm wearing. This one right here to be exact. It's very pretty. One of my newer ones. Next you're going to need mica powder. I'm not going to tell you exactly where I get mine from because that's just one thing that I want to keep to myself. But this is just a random one. You can get them off of Amazon. You can get them off of TKB Trading. You can get them off of anywhere. <laughs> Just make sure it's cosmetic grade. Um, next is Loran Super Strength 12 Count Favor Flavors. You can get these for $15.99. These are food grade, so they're safe to use in lip gloss. This is just what mine look like. 
the nest container that I got from Dollar Tree. And these are $15.99 on Amazon. So go get you some. <laughs> Next is organza bags. You can get these anywhere. I got these from Dollar Tree. Every Dollar Tree does not sell the same thing. And yeah, I'll probably get better quality ones from Amazon though once I run out of these. I'm not even gonna lie. But from Amazon, they're usually five to ten dollars for a set, so that's not bad at all. So, in all, the total of that would be eighty dollars, which saves you some room to buy little random extra stuff you need, like sanitizing wipes, get labels if you want. Um, I make my own labels and business cards. Um, any little random extra stuff you need and it's eighty dollars that's not bad at all to start a whole business that you can double that within it really depends but like a month at the most <laughs> so yeah that is all the information that i have for you guys today if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe turn your post notifications comment down below more entrepreneur videos you guys would like to see and yeah, I will see you guys the next time I post new videos every Thursday and Sunday. Peace.